I've always known this to be true. If you don't know the problem, you'll never find the solution. Hi gang, Mr. Ed here for a special video. Uh, just an announcement, kind of a little bit of change in directions for me. And I wanted to let you guys know because I didn't post a video last week. So you're probably like the eight people who watch me regularly are probably like, where's Mr. Ed? Those people probably know because they see me on Facebook. But if you're following me later on in the future or you just happen to stumble across this video, um, this isn't my usual thing. Uh, I usually post an art video every week. Last week I didn't. I had the Art Addicts Alliance prompt, which was a vision board that I'm still working on. If if I post something, it might look something like that. That's if I post that. I'm not sure. I'm still kind of on the fence about it. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I may work on something different. But uh, if you're new here, I am an artist and I just found out not too long ago that I have autism and it's kind of pretty much changed my life a little bit in terms of how I'm meeting the challenges that I'm facing and finding a calmer more peaceful space for me and I've been looking for that my entire life because I've adapted strategies I've been able to adapt but I'm not it's kind of serendipitous and as I think I'm doing okay, and I try to take on more responsibility and it creates more pressure, my strategies break down and I'm getting this feedback and it's not making any sense. So now it makes sense, finally. And in the process of trying to figure out what I need to do and what the therapies should be, I've talked to parents who have children who are interested in art and their, their children love to watch, they like to watch my videos. There's like some of the eight people that are watching my videos are these these kids who have um, problems plugging into the mainstream. It's really kind of deleterious to them. They're suffering and they're kind of tormented a little bit because they're expected to be normal and they're normal in a different way. <laughs> Nor they're normal for them. It's just trying to get fit into your normal is really difficult. So that causes a lot of problems. So I kind of want to mitigate those by providing an outlet to kids who have autism that can plug into art that's aimed at that kind of brain. So as I'm learning more about why my aesthetic, my artistic aesthetic is the way it is, where my imagination and creativity come from, now that I'm learning more about that, I can really aim my artwork more purposefully and this is an avenue for importance as an art artist so I feel like this is my path this is where I need to go it, basically in short the bulk of my content is going to be aimed at addressing the needs of people with autism and there'll be other videos that if it falls into a mainstream aesthetic then I'm I'm happy for that but I really can't aim for that because I really don't know what I'm aiming for. So if you like my channel, I, you may like it because it's, it's autistic. <laughs> and I'm finding that autism and the, the way that the autistic mind expresses things is beautiful. It really is beautiful and enriching. And it's something to be highly prized and highly valued if people could just understand and give us the room and let us move at the speed we need to move. So I'm going to be providing information along the way that kind of illustrates what it's like to have the mind of a person, have a mind of an autistic person and uh, kind of help maybe shed some light on people with autism, what it's like to have a neurotypical mind and why neurotypical people behave the way that they do. Because if, you're, if you have autism and you're operating under the assumption that everyone's brains can get certain things and it's moving at a certain speed, it makes you wonder why, thing, why we have the problems we have when the solution seems just so obvious and to not act would seem unbearable. So why do people torment themselves? It doesn't make sense. But when you understand that the thresholds for sensibility are so different between people with autism, and it's not that people, neurotypical people are not are not sensible they're sensible in a different way that relates sociologically 
people with autism are sensible in a way that doesn't relate so much to sociology. So those two, that main difference causes a lot of problems. And I'm going to be talking about this more in detail. And I'm also going to be doing some videos that kind of highlight what I go through and where my creative processes come from and why I use a lot of energy and how I can be so productive. And uh, I have an obligation with the Art Addicts Alliance and I'm, I'm working on that still, but it, it may take me a little bit more time to do as I try to fit it into some of the other goals that I have. So that's pretty much the short of this video. I, I hope you will continue to watch. I hope you'll continue to comment and like and do all the things that you guys do to keep me going because it really has, it, if it hadn't been for YouTube and uploading my videos and talking to my YouTube friends and the people that I've met online that are content providers, I don't think I would have reached this, this point because it's, it was my drive to just go through YouTube and, and look at things and watch things and try to learn how much, whatever I can to be a better content provider that I kind of stumbled upon seeing a video that was basically me standing up there talking about experiences that I have on a day-to-day -day basis. And then that person reveals that they have autism. So that was startling and it's, it's kind of changed my life a little bit. So my, there's, there'll be a huge change in my channel basically. So if you, if you want to stick with and come along for the ride, hit subscribe, hit the bell, be notified, like the video, comment, and follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, all that business, because it's going to be very interesting. I promise. And it's going to continue to be, you know, Mr. Ed and, uh, as always, you guys, I love you. Thank you so much for the support. And until next time, take care.